Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are not bird hunting today. That's a different video on the channel. Long story short, for the last three years I have been building up deer properties, uh, corning them, uh, just trying new properties, new properties. And uh, I got, a, uh, let's say, two or three that are really good. Uh, we might get to those today. But the whole reason why I am doing this, number one, I want to shoot me uh, a nice buck. Um, I want spots for the future for my son to shoot nice bucks. And then on top of that, uh, me and Gerald, Gerald and I, y'all know G-Wagon, my partner. We want to run whitetail hunts next year. We are really wanting to do it this year. Unfortunately, um, we just did not acquire enough spots to uh, basically provide good shooter bucks for numerous people. I could probably have five clients in right now this year for archery and they would shoot out pretty decent, you know, 130, 150 inch deer. Um, but I've been doing this all summer, all summer, every summer for the last three years. I just don't make videos about it. I don't like giving my spots away. I don't like showing a lot of my bucks. Um, you know, got to keep it private. Here's the first spot. All of the corn is gone. All of it, except for some right here. And the reason why it's all gone, oh, look at this. This spot, I thought this spot was going to be money. Not yet, not yet. Let's see, solar panels good. Antenna's down. They've been rubbing their noses all over this thing. The solar panel is unplugged. That is why the camera is dead. But the main reason why I'm pulling this one, um, literally all I've had is like two doe, three really fat raccoons, and two coyotes. <laughs> um, this spot will be good during rut when they are moving. So I'm going to pull my camera, stop investing money into a property that is literally feeding raccoons and coyotes, put it off for about a month, come back, start baiting it again and see if we can uh, get some good shooters through the rut. This is my first year uh, deer hunting this spot. Check this out. So the camera's just right over there. There's a little trail here. And this is a pond that does not hold water very well. Uh, the creek floods, the creek that we just walked through back here, it floods through over there and this is all full. Now, now back in the day, and I do lease this now, <laughs> it was just full about two weeks ago. You can tell it's still muddy. I do lease this spot now. Back in the day, I used to see mallards and geese slamming in here uh, back when we had a lot better rain and moisture. Uh, but um, we are dry. I scouted for till all morning. Didn't see a duck. Did not see a duck. And it's, it's getting late in September, so. But we're gonna cut our losses, pull my Tacticam, my solar panel and we are going to head over to a new spot take the weed eater hopefully find a decent spot at a new lease that i just acquired so hopefully we see some deer action some poops some trails and find a place to sit i'm going to tear this down real quick oh jeez. Hello. What's up? Oh, driving. I was on the phone when you called. I was just getting ready to call you back. Oh, I bet. I bet. I was. I had to pull over and pit bad. <laughs> uh, did you stay in Denver last night? Yeah, Morgan was there for her. She went to uh, Atmosphere. What's that? It's kind of like a like a rap punk skater kind of music. Oh, it's a band? Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, I, uh, I said F it and the, um, 
I went and pulled the West. It's gonna stop investing money in it for a little bit, wait till closer to rut, put it back out there. Then I went to the East Pit. The f camera's gone again. That guy with it? Yep, that guy in the white little SUV. I, the last two pictures were two days ago and it was him pulling up and then he pulled up just a little pat almost past the camera uh stopped i could still see his tail lights right there went around the back side of it and took it that's the last pictures i have and it was fully charged on and said look this is bull this is the second one i guarantee he took the one last year that one's down in oklahoma or texas somewhere um and he was like, oh, I don't know if he took the one last year. He wasn't in here until February last year. I'm like, yeah, that's probably right. I didn't go back there and check it until March or spring, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, can you please? Because I went by the guy. He's sleeping in his vehicle. Um, went by and he's deaf, I guess. Like almost deaf because of the military or whatever. And on yeah. a bus and just whatever. Um, I went by real so I went in there I was just gonna pull it anyways because he drove by again I haven't seen any deer sure enough it's gone came back through slowed down looked in his you know in his windows I didn't get out of my truck but looked in there tried to see if I could see the battery or the solar panel or something and couldn't see it and so I went straight and he was all sorts of pissed just bull damn I'm like, why? Yeah, so like, man, I was like, why is he a, worth, literally we've lost almost four hundred dollars in shit? Yeah, yeah. It's just I was like, I understand you're helping the guy out, but he's a thief. He's a thief. Like, there's a reason why he's still in these things. He's reselling them. He's like, oh, I don't think he's reselling them. I was like, well, he's broke, obviously, retired, basically homeless. Um, there's a reason why he's taking other people's stuff, and it's pretty pretty sad that he's a vet veteran you know and still in people sh so he was yeah. like i'll uh i will get it back i'll i'll give you a call i'm like okay oh boy oh boy. i've had to put down the camera for a while um had to go talk to the landowner about the situation so i don't know if you guys caught I probably had to edit out a lot of bad language out of me and girls talk but long story short last year the beginning of this year in february march in the same spot same exact tree everything the i had a, a different camera but the same camera everything was stolen i never took the camera down i just let it go dead uh got busy waterfowl hunting obviously deer was over um, so I just let it sit and I was going to come back and just leave it there. I lease the ground. I lease all this stuff. This is the third year leasing all this stuff from this landowner. Lots of money. Uh, I, tens of thousands of dollars every year on all these properties that he owns. So long story short, it was stolen. Um, I eventually found out it was for sure stolen. I, I was questioning myself, did I, did I pick it up? Did I have Gerald or somebody come pick it up for me during the season? No, I don't think I did. And sure enough, I was able to log in my Muddy account, uh, Stealth Camera Muddy account, and um, it's down in like, that number two camera is down in like Southern Oklahoma, if not like East, East Texas somewhere. Someone must have, I'm guessing the same guy stole it and sold it online or something on Facebook Marketplace or something it's working and it's active and i can see its location because it's turned on it's on a tree row someone is using it to deer hunt i can tell where it's at and then this camera i'm not going to post the pictures um of the car of his of this gentleman's car um as he approached and stopped he he stopped so i'm just i don't want any personal business of anybody out there uh, but he pulled up stopped and then pulled forward just so where my camera uh could just take a picture of his tail light so like right here and back he proceeded to get out of the vehicle and go around the back of the camera and t and peel it off of the tree and take 
um, it and my big lithium solar powered battery, right? And then he immediately turned it off. So I was hoping that he wouldn't immediately turn it off. That way um, I could see him looking at it or in his car or even get the location of it like the other camera. Well, I can't get the location because it is, it's turned off. So the landowner is, uh, he said, I am going to go and talk to him um, and I will get it back. So we're at a standstill right now. Uh, but it's just, it's BS. It's complete thievery. Um, I can't stand thieves. Um, the camera was active. There was corn on the damn ground in front of it. Like, the second time, guarantee it's the same person. I'm so, so pissed. Oh, I'm trying to hold it together for the camera, but I'm mad. I am mad. I invest a lot of time, blood, sweat, tears, and a ton of money into this crap. I got corn I'm at the new spot I just got done sitting to no trespassing private property no hunting signs like two signs per pole uh, in two different locations on this property so if it's posted you can't access it I don't care if you used to have permission back in the years no you need to call and ask now every single year every single time if you're gonna fish a pond anything dove hunt whatever you have to call because people like myself and other folks who have deer little deer leases um you know spending their last dime on them you're you're coming in and wrecking it for people and have some respect no matter your age have some respect if it's posted you're like oh man that's a new sign i'm i've always had permission to access it i better call him I better call him. That's actually the legal thing to do. I gotta put this down and go put some corn on the on the ground. Gah! Oh. Sorry for the wind, guys. Oh, lots of corn. Going through lots of corn, I'll tell you. Oh, well, that's the last spot of the day. Whew, sorry I didn't pick up the camera more at all the spots. Um, got hit like a ton of bricks with the info today. So now, thank goodness, um, I guess, and good news is that they stole my Muddy brand cameras, two of those, and not my Tacticam Reveal X Pros. Those mother ducks right there are expensive, like really expensive. And this one I don't have a solar panel on, uh, but all my other ones I have solar panels. Um, if any of you are deer hunters and you put solar panels uh, on your cameras, on your cell cams, you do know, and if you didn't now you do hopefully uh, you have to either you have to run rechargeable batteries on a solar panel right i don't know if you guys have looked at the prices the price actually not prices i don't i, I went everywhere i went to orsons tsc atwoods uh all the prices were the same for rechargeable batteries being 15 dollars for four and every camera takes 12 that's 50 bucks basically uh, with tax and all 50 bucks even for just the batteries and then another hundred bucks basically for the solar panel and then another hundred and some for the camera so it gets expensive man and and I never really realized how expensive deer hunting uh, was until the last two years especially this year um, just getting more properties um, it's getting more demanding more corn um, here in Kansas we can bait I'm sorry if you can't in your state, but that's the way it is for now, I guess. Um, but anyways, just disappointed, I guess. Disappointed. It's expensive. Uh, lithium batteries are the same price, uh, $15 for four. So it's just crazy how expensive it really is. Um, and then when somebody just decides to take your camera on a piece of property that you leased and have leased for 
a handful of years now. It's just it's complete disrespect, and uh, I do not respect people that are thieves. I don't care. It's, it's BS. Oh, poor Charlie got tore up. It's windy. Blew him right on over. I've been shooting the bow a bunch, getting ready, gearing up. Um, I've had some decent uh, bucks on camera. Here is a few. Here's a couple uh, that are decent, but all the big ones, uh, the one, this one right here, um, I have not seen him for probably a week and a half. So uh, none of the big ones are really daylighting, only one of them, and that's only in the morning. Um, it's just, it's a tough deal. Tough deal right now, we need a cool off. We really do. Went scouting today for teal, everywhere. BFE and back, didn't see one. Did not see one, seen a ton of doves still. We got the dove, that's for sure. Did not see one duck in general. <coughs> uh, it's a way late year for the teal. Uh, best, best dove season we've had in a long time. But uh, I don't know. Let's hope it gets cold. I'm sorry that this wasn't action packed and it was dramatic. It's, it's real, this is not fake, it's something probably a lot of us out there unfortunately have to deal with is thievery in the hunting world whether it's a deer stand and all that stuff thank god i didn't put a deer stand or a ground blind out there yet it would have disappeared too but two cameras down now i know if i put a camera out there again i'm gonna have to invest invest in a metal lock box for it a locked chain around the dang tree the whole nine yards uh really quickly guys speaking on that if you guys have any brands out there of good universal lock boxes. I have never had to look into them, but I guess I'm gonna have to now. Drop a comment down below with a link or the brand so I can go pick up a few because uh, I'd rather just spend another 50 bucks. What's another 50 bucks at this point? Um, I, I just bought 2,000 pounds of corn. I'll get to that in one second. Uh, but yeah, put a brand down there. Any type of safety measure to prevent thieving on cameras, number one. And then uh, number two, guys, I found a little trick I'm sure a lot of you do as well that are able to bait uh, the cheapest price of bagged corn, uh, whole corn, deer corn, whatever. The cheapest I found it is $9.99 at Atwoods, um, 10 bucks a bag. I uh, called a farmer buddy who I lease on. I was like, hey, do you, you I seen you guys are all chopping corn, uh, cutting corn, yada, yada. Do you have any? He said, yep, I'll, I have a seed tender at the house. Go up, help, help yourself. Just uh, calculate how many poundage you have. And he was like, I just, well, he was like, I just charge by the bushel what the co-op uh, pays out per bushel. And I'm like, huh, less than half the price, $4 and 30 some cents a bushel. So essentially it's less than half the cost of a bag. Do it, save yourself some money, get a hold of a local farmer, they'll hook you up, especially the nice ones. But subscribe if you haven't, I have no update yet um, on the camera. I've been waiting uh, to get a phone call from the landowner saying, hey, I got it, or hey, he said he didn't take it, but I will keep you updated on what happens. Hopefully he fesses up and just gives everything back. Who knows? I don't see it going like that, to be honest with you. Thank you all for being here, but until next time.